I am Anil Kumar sharing with you few questions on sine and cosine law application. The question here is, Steve leaves the marina at Jordan on a 40 km sailboat race across Lake Ontario intending to travel on a bearing of 355 degrees. But an early morning fog settles and by the time it clears, Steve has traveled 32 km on a bearing of 0.22 degrees. Determine the shortest distance that Steve needs to travel to complete the race. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now in all these questions, most important part is to sketch the diagram correctly. So let's say that's our uh, coordinate plane and what we are given here is that Steve leaves on a 40 km sailboat race, distance of 40 km and bearing of 355. Now bearing of 355 means what? Let's try to understand that. That is on a bearing of 355 degrees. Now this is measured from north. It is always measured from north. So in our case we are taking north in this direction. So from north it is an angle which is <clears throat> clockwise 355. So it's kind of like this. Do you understand? That type of an angle. So it is just 5 short of full circle. Correct? Now since um, let me just make a wider angle here only for clarity right so so that's easy for us to work with the with the triangle itself right so what we are saying here is that let's say that is the position where steve wanted to go and this angle is 355 right it doesn't look like but that means this angle is only 5 degrees 360 minus 5 is that clear? So we call this point as O and this point as A. Now, but an early morning fog settles and by the time it clears, Steve has traveled 32 kilometers. This was 40 kilometers, right? He has traveled 32 kilometers on the bearing of 22. So 22 will be on this side. So, so that is how we'll, we'll just draw like this. And since it is only twin, mm, 32 kilometers, and this degree here is 22 degrees and 32 kilometers. So it's shorter. So let's just put a point here and say this is 32 kilometers. Right. Now we need to find how much Steve needs to travel to complete the race. So clearly the distance which he has to travel is from here to there, right? So he reaches point B, let's say, and now he has to go back to A. So that is what he has to travel, correct? So we need to find AB. Is that clear? Now, as you can see, we already have a triangle where we know two sides and angle in between. That means we are going to use cosine law. So that is how you could be thinking, right? So, so AB is equal to what? Let's apply the cosine law. So we ne need to find AB. We know AB square is equal to sum of squares of these sides, which is 40 square plus 32 square minus 2 times 40 times 32 times cosine of the angle in between, which is 5 plus 27, right? So the total angle here is 5 plus 22, which is 27. Do you get the idea? So that is the distance which he has to travel. So we can now use the calculator to figure this out. So let's write down. Uh, so what we have here is 40 square plus 32 square minus 2 times 40 times 32 times cos of 27 equals to. So we have 
343.02 is AB square. So distance AB will be square root of this, right? So let's do square root of our answer. And we get a value which is 18.5. and the units are in kilometers. So that is the distance which Steve has to travel. Correct? So this is uh, the, the question which you need to answer. So we are only finding the distance at present. Now for you the question is, let me extend this question. And we could actually add here, that is to find, find direction or bearing. So if you have to add the direction, in that case, again, we need to answer in terms of from north to south or in the bearing, right? So we have to now find the angle. So let's add this second part to it to find the direction. So we know this side is equals to 18.5 kilometers now. Uh, so we'll just approximate and then now find the direction that is, we'll try to find this particular angle. Is that clear? The whole, uh, this angle, which we'll try to figure out now. To find the angle, we can use the sine law, right? So we say sine of B over opposite side is 40 is equal to, we are given this sine of 27 over 18.5. So from here we can cross multiply and get sine of B equals to 40 over 18.5 times sine of 27 degrees. So let's find this. So let's divide 40 by 18.5 multiply by sine of 27. So we get 0 0.9816. So angle B is sine inverse of 0 0.9816, so which is shift sine inverse of our answer, bracket close, equals to 78.9, so approximately 79 degrees. So what we get here is an angle of 79 degrees, right? So when we get this 79 degrees, we have to write this angle in terms of, so this angle now is 79 degrees. What is 22 here? Correct. And we know this angle is 79. So this angle is, uh, let me just uh, make this as, okay. So this angle is 79, this is 180. How much is this angle? So the angle from the north, let's call this angle as theta. Is it okay? So angle theta, let's work it here on this side. So angle theta will be equal to 180 degrees. So it is 180 degrees minus 79 which is this angle or you can say 80 right so it is 901 degrees is it okay we have 22 there so we have to take away 22 also so let's do this so it is 180 minus 79 which is this angle and 22 minus 22 to get our answer which is also 79 degrees <laughs> that's great which is also 79 degrees okay so we could write this angle theta which is also 79 degrees in our case normally you won't get like this so we'll write from north so the bearing is we have to check the angle in that direction do you see that 
360 degrees minus 79. So that part is kind of tricky. 360 minus 79 and that gives you 281. 281 degrees. At this bearing, now Steve has to go to reach point A. So sometimes you will be asked the bearing also, right? So, so we just added this portion. I hope you understand and appreciate how we found the bearing angle, which is a critical part of this question. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.